Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly back up your Microsoft Access database files. Today's question comes from Damien in Tampa, Florida, one of my gold members. Damien says, I've been using Google Backup and Sync like you recommend in your new PC setup video. However, it's not backing up my Access databases properly. Any advice you can give? Yes, Damien, Google Backup and Sync is what I recommend to keep all of your files backed up in the cloud. So they're not on your computer, they're not even in your house or your office. So if the place burns down, you've got a copy of them sitting up on Google's server. I cover Backup and Sync in my free new PC setup video. If you haven't had a chance yet, go watch this first. Right around the 42 minute mark, I cover installing Google Drive and the Google Backup and Sync. Now the problem with any backup program is that it's not good at backing up open files. If a file's open, including your Access database, your backup software, no matter what it is, might not be able to back it up, or if it does, it might corrupt it. So an important step at backing up your database is to make sure the database is closed. At least make sure no one is in it editing records or making design changes especially. So if someone leaves the office for the day and your backup routine runs at 3 a.m., it might not back up those access database files, including the Google Backup and Sync. It might see it and either skip it or it might start backing it up and it gets corrupted because someone makes an edit. So you have to make sure you run this at a time when no one's using the database. Now what I suggest you do is set up your database in a folder, of course. I've got my My Database folder right here. Open that up, okay? Now, what you're going to do when you run your backup, when you create your backup file, you're going to save that in your Google Drive folder, wherever you happen to have that. Mine is in my Users Richard Ross Google Drive folder. Okay, so let's go into our database, and I'll show you how to properly make a backup. Open this guy up. When you're inside your database, go to File, and then Save As, Backup Database, and then click the Save As button. Now, don't save it here. All right, don't save it in your database folder. Save it in your Google Drive folder, like I showed you before. The benefit is, is once you save this, now your Google Drive backup and sync can pick it up and send it up to the cloud. All right, so you've got an off-site copy. Click your backup folder. Set up a backup folder of some kind in here. I already have one set up. All right, you can see all my normal database stuff is in here, right, my server front end. Now, the benefit of using the backup routine this way is that Access automatically appends the date on the end of the file name there. All right, so that's kind of nice. All right, hit save. All right, and that's it. You're backed up. Your file's backed up. Now, make sure you do this with your back-end files, too, if you have a split database. Now, if you don't know what a split database is, go watch my video on splitting your database. That's where you got your tables in separate back-end files. If you're on a network, that's pretty much a given. Okay, so you got to make sure you back up those, too. But all you generally have to do is make sure everybody's out of the network, and then you copy those files, even using the Windows Explorer like I just showed you, copy those right to that backup folder. All right, so here I am back in my Explorer. Let's pretend this is a backup file, right? Just copy it, Control-C, go to my Google Drive, go to my backup. There's my backup that Access created, right? And now in here, I would just paste and drop that copy of my backend file, right? That's really all you have to do to make sure your stuff is backed up. The key here is don't have Google or any backup program, any backup utility, whether you're backing up to an old tape drive or to an external hard drive or another cloud service, whatever. Don't back up your access directory directly. Because if those files are open, they, they sometimes won't back up at all or they might back up corrupted. Okay, if the backup routine happens to run while someone's in the database, let's say someone comes in at 3 o'clock in the morning right, to do some work and now the, the database is copying parts of the file that aren't right and it might corrupt the whole thing. All right, so make sure you also keep random, not random, um, Rotating. Rotating is the word I was looking for. Keep rotating backups. So you got a couple days in a row. You got a couple months back. Okay, I saved the last three days. Then I saved the last first of each month. Then I saved the last first of each year going back. All right, so I've got March 1st, February 1st, January 1st, and so on. Okay. Want to learn more? About backing up your database? Well, backing up shouldn't be a difficult manual process. It needs to be easy, simple, and quick, if not automatic. So in the extended cut for members, 
I will show you how, A, to make a one-click backup. We'll start with that. We'll make a button that says do backup. Click the button, it performs the backup. You don't have to go up into file and save as and all that stuff. Okay, and I'll talk about backing up your backend files if you have a split database. Then we'll graduate to backup on close. All right, whenever you close your database, it'll back up automatically. Okay, then I'll show you how you can use a timer event to force all the users on your network out of the database. It'll just shut access down if 4 a.m. comes around or whatever time you specify. This way, if someone leaves the office, leaves the database open, at 4 a.m., it shuts down. That way, at 5 a.m., you're going to need to leave your database open now when you leave the office because at 5 a.m., your database will perform the backup because everyone else is out, right? And then it'll close, okay? And then if you have any other backups that run, you know, network-based backups or whatever, you can have them run at 6 a.m. or whatever times you want. That's all covered in the 30-minute extended cut from members, silver members and up. Get access to all of my extended cut videos. There's well over 100 of them now, so plenty of stuff to watch. I also have a database backup template available. You can incorporate this directly into any database, set it to backup at a particular time, like 4 a.m., and then it will backup all of the files in your database folder to a destination location. I'll put a link to that down below as well. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.